Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within this cursed estate and we are ready to go on another adventure. Last episode was quite a crazy one. We um, took on quite a bit of stress and we uh, we got ourselves a pretty nice trinket for killing um, one of the harder mini bosses. It was definitely a risky, risky one, but we got through it just about and I'm really glad that Basilla was there to witness that horror uh, just because I feel like it's very fitting of our character's backstory. Um, but yeah, we're here again. I've built ourselves a crew ready to go. Um, we got Viara, Artemis, Nyx, and Renata, which is one of our new characters that I'll be introducing in just a second. But first of all, you guys said that I should buy this Metal Ancestor um, just because it's really good. It's quite pricey, but I'm going to buy it anyways. I think um, it's well worth it. I can actually buy two of them for some reason, but I don't think that's intentional. But yeah, uh, we'll buy that. It's quite a big chunk of our money, but that's why we're bringing out Viara again here, so that we can make some of that back up. Uh, if you take a look at what I've built so far, we've got uh, Viara here with uh, the new trinket, as well as the life crystal for a massive bonus to a maximum HP. Um, we've then also got um, Artemis here with the extra healing and disease resist. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, the loud isn't great, but then we've got Nyx here, um, who has the exotic snuff and the life ring, and then we've got Renetta here, our new ca uh, new character, our shield breaker, with her um, Sunward Isles uh, trinket, as well as the Guts Dragon Slayer sword. So this is going to be a pretty fun uh, group, I think. I think Nyx is going to be good for adding that block and curing that blight and bleed. Um, Artemis can also do the same here, so these two are going to be able to just take off any uh, Blight Bleeds that occur, which is going to be really, really nice. And then we'll be able to apply a lot of Blight here with um, Renata. But anyways, let's get into the backstory of Renata here. Uh, this is a backstory by Penn Simmons. We're going to go into this one, and then we've got Bagman to go over later on. We'll uh, read his backstory when we get into his first mission after this one. We're going for a short one into the curve first, so let's get into this. The desert is an unforgiving place. Life that thrives here grows with thorns. It's how it survives. The Suri tribe called the Desert Home. They respected the life and fragile balance that the god forms in such a brutal land. The land returned their respect in kind, providing sustenance, allowing the small tribe to survive where most cannot. The night of the blood moon dis uh, disturbed the balance. They were celebrating new life at the camp in a small oasis. The chief's daughter gave birth to a son, Perfect and healthy, a rarity. They lit a bonfire on a rock outcropping outside of the oasis, as is tradition, to give thanks to the sun for allowing the birth to happen. The light was seen by a merchant caravan stomping its way through the wastes towards civilization, armed to the teeth to brutalize any predators that attempt to attack. The caravan headed towards the light like wolves to prey. The caravan saw value in the tribe, not as people, but as rare exotic products. The tribe expe expected compassion, the Merc guards had none. Um, thought they try Though they tried to fight back, the tribe stood no chance against the caravan. Renata, the young Surrey warrior, watched as the leader of the armed brutes grabbed the newborn from its mother's arms. Stand down or he dies, he yelled. The warriors, Renata included, dropped their weapons and went to their knees. They executed the men, children, and the baby. The screams were haunting. She was seen as too beautiful to kill, so she, um, she and the rest of the Surrey women had their hands bound and were thrown in a cage. She saw friends from neighbouring tribes tied up next to her. This cannot happen. The wagon started to move. There were no guards in the wagon, just the two at the reins. They hadn't fully searched the Surrey woman, and they still had their carving knives. The warriors cut themselves free. Renetta leaped at the driver. He pulled uh, back at the reins in fear. The horses panicked. They charged into the next wagon, flipping the wagons. Renetta vision went dark. She comes to, armed, uh, arm trapped under the wagon. This is bru uh, there is brutal combat all around her. The tribe trained, uh, training lost to blood, lost to bloodlust. And with their spears stolen from the recovered wreckage, she calls for help, but it's too quiet. The tribe lost the battle. The caravan leaves, abandoning the flipped wagon. There is silence. She is alone, but for the bodies uh, around her, and with her, and, and with her under the wagon, an adder slivered up to her trapped arm. She tried to no avail to uh, pull free, and the snake bites. The venom burns in her veins. 
Her only escape is now clear. A blade to the bend of her arm and a, a blinding pain. The cost of survival. The thorns to life. She binds the wounds weak from blood loss and she ties an age's shield to her upper arm. Grabs a fallen spear and begins to follow the track back, uh, by the left by the caravan. Screams of the dead echo in her mind. That is just masterful. I really like how you played into the backstory and the uh, the idea of her losing her um, her arm. That's really really cool. Um, and I think really the on guard kind of works quite well here. We've also got an attentive, which is another ten percent chance for party surprise. Um, so that's going to be actually ten percent chance for monster surprise. Less less chance for monster surprise and chance for party surprise aren't the same thing, so that's fine. But yeah, we're going to go here to the curve and go for the Swordsman's Crest for a little bit of extra damage for our Crusader and see how that goes. This is mainly going to be a money-finding mission as well as a little bit of XP for these guys. So let's grab some provisions. We're going into the curve. We want to go with 12 food. Um, we'll go with four shovels. One of those, two of those, two of those. Actually, we'll go three of those, two of those one of those and ten of those okay we are good to go let's embark on this adventure and make sure that we can get through it okay but first of all of course we have some diary entries to go through one of which i did actually miss last week and i apologize for that so i'm gonna go back down and make sure we get that so the first one here is um by uh, dr sandwich junkie for pen simmons character um kimber which is our um our healer I can't remember her name now. But anyways, let, let's let's jump in. As you remember last time, she sends letters to her master. So, Master Matthew. My second excursion into the depths went far better than the first. I was paired with three brutes this time around. They did quite a good job handling themselves. Awali, uh, a mountain of a man with a strong sadness about him, was particularly affected. effective. He was afflicted with a classic case of leprosy, but denied any attempt I made to treat him saying that he tried everything under the sun to no avail. The worlds will be a tad darker when he rots away. The other man, however, I'm not too fond of. A killer who kills for the sake of it, with a soul black as the pitch. He even went as far as to strike at our, our, strike at our other companions when they dared to celebrate a victory. No doubt the sun will shine brighter when he meets his end. I did not ask for his name, but perhaps I should have so I know which grave to spit on. This is all for now, Master. I will write to you again when I have more to say. Your pupil, Kimber. Fantastic writing yet again. Really love that. Um, I really like the idea of her writing to her, um, writing to her old master. We'll leave that for now because we don't know how many shovels we're going to need. Um, we'll go for this battle. Okay, so buffing dodge is going to be good here. One thing I didn't do, actually, I didn't check if anyone needed to be uh, leveled up. I don't think they did. I think everyone's looking fine, but I should have checked, definitely. Um, let's just do a stress relief here off the bat. And then, so here we've got an interesting thing. We can go with impale, which will deal um, a little bit of damage to everyone. Which will also push us back. Or we can go with the Adder's Kiss, which will deal good damage. Or we can go with Pierce to get the uh, guaranteed kill on one of these guys. I think I'm going to go with the guaranteed kill on one of these guys to start. Because it means we don't move forward. And the Pierce is just generally very good. We'll do some more stress healing here. Just try and get Viara down to a more reasonable level. Because she's starting out a little bit higher up on the stress than everyone else. One problem we do have with this party, which is going to be a little bit of an issue, is... Um, we do, of course, only have one main attacker. Uh, everyone else is kind of here to just help out. Um, so it's going to be all on um, Renetta here to to really put forward some damage. So we'll, we'll hope that she can um, she can provide. Of skill and purpose. Let's go for another kill on you with Pierce. We can go for that armor piercing and get that easy kill, and we'll go for a heal here. Of course, good heals coming out here with that extra uh, healing bonus from the syringe. Really like that. Disease resist on Nyx here is incredibly high, so that shouldn't be a problem. That, however, is a bit of a problem. Um, hmm. Just go for this. I know we're getting a repose there, but I was hoping for the debuff. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. We'll go for Adder's Kiss here, which is going to move us back a little bit, but... 
The amount of blight we put on is double because of this trinket here, which is kind of incredible. Six over three is really, really high. Um, buff dodge again, and then we'll go for a heal. Seven, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, another hit on her kind of returns that back to how it was before. Kale up again is fine because you're already guarded. Just extends that timer. Okay, hopefully we can get her healed up a little bit here. We'll go for Pierce to try and finish you off. Nice. I know this guy's more of a threat. I realize that, but this is how it's going to have to be for right now. We'll put a block on ourselves, just so we don't take any more damage. The blocks also last until they get removed, so quite nice. There's that block look. That's going to come in very handy. Just buffing the dodge as much as we possibly can here. Um, that's a huge crit right there, right before the end of battle as well. Get her stress down to a reasonable level. Wow. Nyx is really getting heavily targeted right now. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Unfortunately, um, offending others, tackless. I kind of get it, but not, but not the greatest for us. But you're dead next round. You're not hitting me again. You're not hitting Nyx again. I will not let it happen. I'm just going to move here to try and get an extra heal out of this. There you go. The Beautiful. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiven. Right. Trap disarm. We've got 70, 70, 60, 60. We'll just go with you. Unfortunate on a 70% chance. We are going to have to use one of these to clear that off. Because those can be pretty problematic if we don't. We keep pushing forward though. This is a good group, I think. Regardless of us having kind of low damage across the board, I think this is a good group. Uh, we are going for 100% of rune battles here as well. Another trap. Wow, and it's on Nyx as well. Step. Have to get rid of those as soon as you can because they're just so annoying. Um, we will go for one of these this time because we're a bit further into the dungeon now. Glittering gold. Unfortunately, not too much uh, curios or money available to us just yet, which is a shame. Hmm, Impale. Just doesn't do a lot of damage here, does it? Um, I think we're going to go for Pierce on you to try and get you deaded early. I'm just going to age this up myself because I've just been getting bullied so far. Remember, we also have the ability to transform as well as Artemis. I, I, I rarely do transform as her. I think it's something that you need to kind of save for when it's a necessity, especially when she's our only real healer. You kind of need an off healer as well to make it work effectively. Weird anchor. Okay, these guys are going to be problematic. They, they end up buffing each other up, especially that plus 10% crit can be really, really brutal. Get that stress down a little bit. The Seaward Slash coming in. Not particularly effective against us, luckily. Does a bit of damage, but we're, we're sitting pretty. We were sitting pretty. Oh, God. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Ooh, Lord. Um, this is risky because I don't have an Aegis anymore. I really should have uh, prepared an Aegis here. Let's do this. That could that got rid of our Aegis, damn. Okay, well, this is going to be a huge risk. Um, I really hope she doesn't die straight away, thank God. We've got two abilities to get her off Death's Door, though, so that's fine. Don't want to go for the Reposed here. Let's go for the Addis Kiss there. That's a kill, lovely. Come on, give us a heal now. We need it so badly. Come on, game. Give us the heal. I'm getting scared. I'm getting really scared. Okay, thank you, thank you. There's that block at least. He at least, uh, she at least, sorry, can't die now. Okay. That was definitely a bit risky. That crit came in pretty hot and heavy. These two guys, when put together, can be really problematic, really. You're going to go for her again. I mean, thank God we dodged because that means we keep the Aegis. But... Overall, quite annoying. And this is why I didn't want to transform, because it could just have been so bad for us. Oh, that, that repose didn't actually remove our, our Aegis block. I thought it would. And there's another huge crit coming out there. Nice. Oh, God. This guy's getting kind of annoying. I thought I could get the kill there on that, but not quite, apparently. Oh, bloody hell. 15% additional crit. It's just rough as all hell. Oh, damn. I, I thought I, my game kind of hitched there. I thought it was going to crash. Luckily, it didn't. Okay, 
Okay, both of these guys have, have got have got uh, blocks on them, so we kind of just need to kill you. As the fiend falls, I didn't realize that thing could guard multiple blossoms. things at once. Luckily, the Aegis here coming in handy. Another crit heal. Wow, Artemis is really going heavy right now. Taint coming in. No disease. Put that block on again while we get that heal going. Unfortunately, our dodges have been kind of terrible so far. We've not had any good dodges. That's you dead. That six blight is crazy good. Just move you back there. Look at that. Oh. Close to death right off the bat, but proves her worth. Immediately proves her worth. Now, one thing I didn't check is camping skills, which actually, no, we're on a short mission. That doesn't matter. Okay, no worries. Because there is some specific camping situations you get into with this class that we need to be careful of. Let's crack that open. Wealth beyond measure. Nothing crazy in terms of money yet. But we've managed to return ourselves to some semblance of semblance? Sembassy? I can't remember what I'm trying to say now. Minus five speed's annoying, but we can deal with it. That's what we're looking for. With loot Lovely. Are often low on supplies. Hunger check. We can deal with that. Step on through. Unfortunately, the traps have been pretty bad thus far. And the curios have also been very lacking. Hey, another one of those. Good, good, good. We really want to see more of that. Impale just doesn't do enough damage right now. I'd love to use Impale to do some crazy stuff, but... Not doing a hell of a lot. I think we just go for this. Oh, what a miss. That's so unfortunate. And of course, I bet they're going to Seaward Slash him, like, constantly. We apply a block there. Luckily, Viara has been reasonably left alone, which is good. I say that a bit too soon. I knew they were going to double slash him, so that's why I put the block on. Hopefully the dodge actually does something this time around, because it's been pretty pathetic thus far. It's not really been helping us at all. That maybe wasn't the best person to, to heal, to be honest. Come on, dodges, you need to work with me here. And this needs to hit. Thank you. It, kill it kills straight away like that, look. See, with Slash coming in again. We just need no crits here. That's all we need. Oh, bloody hell. Thank God for that dodge. Thank you. Oh, okay. So the dodges are coming in now. Good, good. 17, 14. Definitely want to heal you up first. Sedated. No dodge there, unfortunately. We'll put that Aegis block on you just so you don't take another hit. Oh, that's what we were hoping to not have happen. It's the stress that's really problematic right now. We're getting so much stress incoming. It's causing issues. We the pierce there. And the heals, we need some more crit heals coming in. Honestly, our, our ability to heal right now is, is being outmatched by their ability to deal damage, which is problematic because of situations like this. Thank God for the dodge. Come on, dodge again, dodge again, dodge again. Ah, oh, at least it's not a crit. At least it's not a crit. Let's go for that stress heal here. Everyone's looking a little rusty here at the moment. Go there. Just mean we need more turns to get the healing going, but we're just not getting it. Another Aegis block there. These guys are just taking a while. Like I said, we don't have a lot of outgoing damage, so battles are just taking a little longer than they really should. Hey, we got that block there going. The blocks are so valuable. But very thematic as well with um, Renetta here. Good heal. Across the bar, it's not bad. You've bled out, lovely. This is how a life is taken. You're dead. Okay, I'd like to have come out of that with more life than I did, more health, but it is what it is. We're fine. We've probably got one or two more battles left here. 
hopefully only one more room battle so hallway battles don't count for as much. Pierce on you to get the insta kill. So worth it. I know that there's a um, this guy here. Let's go with that there. And hope the dodge does something good for us here. Healing wise, I think I'll go for you. Stress wave, not too bad. Our stress is actually looking fine right now. It's not perfect, but we're dealing okay. Thank God you resisted that sun because we need you ready to heal Artemis. She's not ready to show her inner, her inner ugliness yet, but one day it will come. One day it will come. So you would slash, good dodge. We can't kill with a pierce there. I think I'm just going to go for the Adder's Kiss there. Insta-kill there. Love that. It's going to be a crit bleed, unfortunately, but... Oh, no, hopefully we, we dodged the bleed. We can cure it if it happened anyways. That's another crit heal. Very, very nice. Very welcome. Luckily, no one's going for her for the stress wave, because that could be terrible. Salty gouge, another bleed, but we can get that off. Ooh, we did actually get a disease there, unfortunately, as well. I wasn't expecting that. We can do this to get rid of that bleed and add that Aegis. Nice kill. Another crit heal. Fantastic. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. I was going to say perfection and then perfect at the same time. It was weird. Another one of those coming in. More stress relief as we go. Let's just check here what disease we got. That's pretty bad, but not terrible because we're do mainly doing self buffs. Wow, she's got a lot of uh, negative quirks. Let's not worry about that though. Beautiful. And another crit. Wow, the crits are kind of crazy right now. Uh, Money-wise, I definitely want to take money, so let's get rid of that and that. And keep pushing forward and hope we get some curios going. It's hoping for a little more money than this, but sometimes you don't get what you want. Money-wise, we've really not taken away too much for an antiquarium run here. But it's better than nothing. The light gains better than nothing. Are now that is and rough. The is made clear. That is a really bad shuffle. Luckily, um, Renata here can move around pretty easily. But having these two up front just exposes them to a lot, like stuns. Um, let's get that on you just to make sure you don't take too much damage here. I know it's not going to deal damage, uh, not going to do anything good, but it could have dealt damage and it moves us forward, so it's better than nothing. We'll move back here. Shocker that used Shocker. And of course you get the stun. Not so bad on her though, because she can't use her uh, Aegis block this round anyways. Wow, this is, this is kind of brutal. We can't use our dodge this round either, so we just have to accept that. Good. Another crit. Buffs your prop for a little while. We just have to deal with these uh, stuns as they come. I think that can still stun us. Yes, it can. We're unfortunately hitting every single one of their stuns at the moment, which is really not great. See? Every single one of their stuns. And that's all they seem to be throwing out as well. Very problematic for us, but at least not stunning our damage dealer. Execute Holy hell, the, the crits. Renetta just came in here with some absolute fury today. So many crits being put out, it's kind of nutty. Unfortunately, the stun there. Nice damage. Formation is broken. Maintain Unfortunately, defensive. we didn't uh, keep any bandages for this situation here. You 
beautiful. A little bit of extra money there. And we've got one last battle coming into here. A little bit worried about Artemis' health here, so I'm going to gobble down some food. And we'll go in and finish off this last fight. Good that we got the surprise. Very much like that. Um, we'll pop this for now. Just in case anyone gets low. And we'll pop this on you to make sure you don't take too much more damage. Pierce there. Dude, what is going on with your crit chance? It's obscene. It's actually obscene. What is happening? <laughs> I love it, but I'm so confused. You just... You're hitting like two to three crits every single round. It's crazy. Luckily, we can bypass Kerl up if we need to. Shock is coming in again. That's been a pretty big constant, but we can deal with it. Thank God for no crit. Okay, that's going to also get us. Oh, no, we dodged it. Nice. Nice. Top up that healing there. Thank God I did as well. Beautiful. Oh, damn. I did that on the wrong enemy. I thought that would break the guard, meaning that they couldn't guard people anymore. Turns out it just means they can't be guarded. Whoopsie. My bad for not reading, I guess. Bit of a waste of a turn there. Love it when we get the dodge so it doesn't waste the, um, another crit heal. So it doesn't waste the Aegis. Very, very nice. Try and pierce through there. Get a bit of damage. So much Kale up. That's all this thing does. Just Kale's up, Kale's up, Kale's up. Managed to keep everyone's healing and stress reasonably low. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. All the stress. Bit of bleed coming in, but we dodge. Really? Really? You did four damage there? How? How would you manage to do four with Pierce? It's only a minus 10%. I don't get that. Your lowest base damage must be super low. Okay, it is five. That's fine. Makes sense. These guys have been an absolute pain in the ass to kill at the moment, aren't they? Glad we're putting the Aegis on the right people here. Probably should have cleared that bleed, to be honest, but oh well. I'm sure to try and kill this thing, because it's annoying me. I lost my Aegis to that, though. The confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. The damage across the board there. Cured that bleed. You two shouldn't be too difficult, especially... Oh, I goddamn misclicked. I got a crit there, but complete misclick. I meant to click on this guy. I was itching my eye at the time. Again, my bad. Foolish. Very foolish. Let's just go for some damage here. Heal myself up. Go for the stress heals. Try and get stress down a little bit. We don't care if you stun her. Nyx is fine to be stunned. Oh, also, I just realized, it's our first all-female team. It might be. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case, but it might be. Another crit. Wow. Executed. There you go. Seize this momentum. Beautiful. Push on to I, I just want to use this just in case it is something. Okay, no, we don't got any holy water anyways. Okay. Decent mission, not as much money as I was hoping for. I was hoping for about 20, 20,000. 20, I don't know how much I got out of that. Eh, not quite enough. I was hoping to make up for that trinket I bought, but there you go. Um, no, no quirks at all here, but we did get one um, virus, one disease. But everyone's looking pretty good. We got some level ups there. Looking very, very nice. Uh, let's hop into another diary entry here. Um, let's go to our next one. One second. Okay, on to our next one. So our next one, again, by Dr. Sandwich Junkie. We have a few from um, Dr. Sandwich Junkie today. A letter from a faraway land addressed to Viara. Mother, please stop sending me money. I am fine. You do not need to send money or check on me through the mail. I told you, the doctors told you, and even father told you. 
I'm not sick or going to get sick anymore. If you care that much, just come see me. I don't recognize the town you wrote from, but if you can send mail from there, it can't be that far. And stop blaming yourself for what happened to father. You couldn't have known what would happen. Take care of yourself. Your daughter, Makishki. Mish Mishki? Mishki, sorry. Great diary entry there. Okay, so first of all, let's just quickly um, unequip our trinkets here and sort them again. Um, and we just need to check our town log here to see what happened. So, no. It replaced that. I should have locked that in. Finishes a bite, new quirk, quick draw. Quick draw is still good, but that is a bu that is an absolute bummer to replace that. Wow, okay. Um, feeling still uh, worn out. Unfortunate. <clears throat> is no longer irrational, that's good. Is no longer paranoid, that's good. Okay, we've got some decent stuff there. Let's just check our stress levels here. Um, let me just unequip these guys. And check our stress levels. Because, yeah, L Lysander is still very, very stressed after after the last last one here. So let's uh, let him pray longer. And Sophie, you can also uh, do some meditation. I think, Blaze, you can go for a drink. Oh, unfortunately not. You can go to the gambling hall. Why not? And Basila, you can uh, take a take a trip to the brothel. Get everyone's stress down a little bit lower. Not perfect, but it'll have to do. We'll increase stress recovery on both of those. Maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. Right, check who we've got coming in. Unfortunately, I don't think anyone would want to take on right now. Botanist is certainly an interesting one. Um, I like the idea, but I'm kind of waiting for specific people at the moment, so we'll leave that. And we're kind of also waiting on more level 2, so no one from that uh, that week. And then we've got plus 10% scouting chance, minus 10% chance party surprised, minus 15% chance monster surprised. Intriguing. Okay. Right, now let's go into the backstory of Bagman here. Bagman is one that we did get a diary entry for previously. Um, he's definitely an interesting character. I'm really excited to get into working around. This is again by Penn Simmons here. So let's go into Baghead, the Vigilante. God, it smells awful here. I mean, you would assume that a dungeon full of the undead and corpses of dead fighters would have a stink to it. But the onion I'm snacking on is barely noticeable under the distinct scent of rotting, um, of a rotting nun. I would have thought that the hood would have helped fill up the stink, but it barely helps. I look cool, though. I'm glad I took the time to thank the executioner before I bashed his skull in. He seemed like a decent killer, all things considered. He wasn't great at his job, but he seemed happy enough um, until the rope snapped. Uh, I need to jot this down. The stink bothers me, so I probably do, uh, do not want to uh, work with rotten corpses. That probably means I wasn't a mindless killer, despite being hanged for killing. Maybe I was um, good at cleaning. It's better than uh, good at swinging blunt objects. Maybe I was a sports person. I don't feel like an athlete would be so efficient at bludgeoning demons or um, being hanged for murder, but maybe it's just a sport I don't really remember. I really should have asked the guard for some basic information before I saw his cudgel. The priest uh, he looks towards before he died was no help at all. Uh, is that a pile of gold over there? No. No, that's burns. Yellow, burns, and old armor. You need to stop getting distracted. I have places to be, I think. I notice myself humming as I wander. Am I enjoying this? I'm not hating it, at least. I've walked for over three hours since I found myself here. Hard to tell in the depths, but I, um, I get a sunny afternoon vibe from all the things trying to kill me. Despite no recollection of traveling here, I feel like there was um, answers at the end. Like a latent memory echoing down the halls. I only wish the echo could point me in the right direction um, in the direction that, sorry, could point me down the right bloodied cell block. There you go. The right direction down the right bloodied cell block. I don't need another prison key. I have ten. I started um, marking hallways with coal, hoping not to retrace my steps. But now I really wish I drew simple arrows, because I lost track of the direction an hour ago. Now I just know I've drawn 14 penises since the crucifix demon... And that was four frowny faces since the upside-down puppy I drew when I got caught in the trap. 
I feel like I'm nowhere near any answers, and I swear, I've seen that pair of genitals before. <laughs> I love this. So if you remember recently, we uh, came across a random letter stuffed into the skull of um, a skeleton in the, uh, in the ruins, and it seemed someone was lost down there. And he seems to have finally found his way out. As you can clearly see as well, he's marked himself with some, uh, some skull skeleton insignia here. Now, this class is really, really interesting. Um, plus 10 max HP is incredible there. Um, we're going to give this guy a go. So, yeah, this guy's really cool. Basically, the way that he works is he's all based around combos. As you can see, he has combo 1, 2, 3. What this means is certain moves of his have specific um, combo bonuses, meaning that if you hit once, hit twice, hit three times, they'll do different things. So the first one here is the combo smash. On combo one, it's going to get armor piercing. On combo two, it's going to give himself some extra damage. And on combo three, it's going to stun. Uh, here, we've got other monsters get four damage. On combo two, it's going to uh, give us some speed. And on combo three, it's going to uh, stealth ourselves. It's, it's really, really cool. So here, we've got execute, um, which is going to deal... 100% crit damage if enemy is below 25% HP and minus 2 stress on kill. So I'm definitely going to take that as our uh, as our first one, but let's uh let's go with the combo smash to start. Then we've also got this a free action which is wind up progresses your combo state and gives you some extra damage. So that will basically put this into the next level of combo. Um of course this is a backline. We're going to use this guy as a frontline runner, I think. Um that's pretty interesting. At combo three, we get a self heal, and this we get um, extra accuracy, target damage received, and target minus damage on our combo. That's that's going to move us back. I think I'm going to go with these skills here. So let's go with this, and then we go with this, and this, then this. We've got a repost. We've got a free action to wind up our combo smash. And then we've got Execute to finish off enemies and give us some stress relief. I think that sounds pretty good. So let's embark on and see what we want to do here, see what we want to go for. Um, that is so insanely good. I need it. 40% scouting chance. That's ludicrous. That's so good. Um, I, I don't know what mod adds these medals, but they're pretty interesting. Extra Trap Disarm, Extra Resolve XP. Um... What we got here as well. I think we're gonna go for the um for the siren, you know. So let me pause and create a team and I'll come back. Right, we are good to go, I think. I've put together a pretty interesting crew. I've gone with a very mark heavy uh crew. Basically, fr from what I remember of the siren, I haven't fought her in a long time, but from what I remember, mark ta uh mark parties are really good against her because she can't make any use out of marks which means that we can utilize those to do good damage to her. Now, one thing that I'm a little sort of worried about is giving this guy um, stun-based skills, because that means that she can use them on us. So what I might do is once we get into the uh, into the fight, maybe swap those off. I'm, I'm not sure. I'll see. Um, but we've also got uh, Titania here with the amazing ability to heal. Um, and then we've got Rose as a backline just for the suppressing fire and the ability to do some extra mark damage. And the slight bit of extra um, extra healing that we get with her, which is quite nice. Turn to Trinkets, we've got extra life mixed with the um, Im uh, disease immunity. We've got the extra healing mixed with the max HP for that bonus up to 37. We've got um, the Metal Ancestor for the massive bonuses to skill chances and resists, mainly for the stun skill chance and the um, resists. And then we've also got the Snuff for the extra move and stun resist. So he's got really, really good stun and move resist, which is really nice. I'm not sure, but I think move resist is... Uh, move and debuff resist are what, are, what are the checks for her to grab you. I can't remember exactly. And in the front, we've got Guts and the Lloyd Sword Ring for the extra damage bonuses. And hopefully this should be a relatively good group to, to really put some good damage on and put some work in. I'm at least hoping. Now let's just check our camping skills and make sure we've got um, something that can prevent Night's Arm Ambush. We shall see. Uh, okay, we'll, get, we'll probably have to buy that, aren't we? Yeah, let's just go and buy that real quick. <laughs> on Titania here. Uh, by this 
and just make sure that is equipped. Okay, it's already equipped. And then let's just check off our levels on everyone, make sure everyone's upgraded to the max they can be. So we're using this one, this one, this one, and this one. You're fine. We're going with these four. We're going with these three and that one. Good, good. I was going to bring Bagman out, but I, I really, I, I'll be honest, I really do want to bring him out. But basically, I, I think if we're going for a boss, we need to choose a little differently. And as much as I really want to see Bagman in action, I feel like as a level one, we need to be a bit more careful. And I just can't let this trinket go. So I apologize for not bringing him out straight away. I realize some of you maybe want that. Okay, we're all upgraded. Good, good. And we can set off ready to embark. And yeah, we'll go straight here for that 40% scout chance, which is actually insane. Let's grab our provisions. We're going curve on a medium mission here. So we want 20 food. We want five shovels. No, we'll, yeah, we'll take five. Yeah, just in case. Um, we'll go with two of those. Four of those. Five of those. Two of those. Uh, three of those. Two of those. And... We'll go with, like, 16 torches. Good, good, good. I think we're ready to go. We could also bring some of these. I haven't really used any of these yet. They're kind of a specialist thing that I don't need. The only one that really is super effective is the restora restoration if we need it for the extra healing. But we'll uh, we'll forgo that for now. Let's embark on our quest My lofty against the siren. always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Fateful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. Indeed. We do have a few diary entries to go over this quest. Um, first one is from Basilla, um, her, her diary entry too. Those bloody fools. What sort of a death wish do they carry with them? Is their greed greater than their sense? I warned them. I told them what would happen if we messed with the altar, and I was still outvoted. I thought at least the sharpshooter had some sense of self-preservation, but she's no different from the lunatic and the human flamethrower. All blinded by greed, even against their own well-being. We only just got out by the skin of our teeth this time. Next time, I might not be there to warn the group of what to expect when you uh, light the hellish effigy. I need to relax, clear my mind. Maybe there's space in the transept for me to sit in silence for a while. Damn right, she was knowledgeable about what would happen, and they went on with it anyways, and it was very risky. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. Right, we're going to go all the way over here. As for actually running the, the mission, I think these guys should be pretty good. I think I think the talent these guys hold is uh, pretty good. I'm, I, the only thing I'm not su super happy about is I'm probably going to get hit In by a few traps on the way. I'd rather not, but it's probably going to happen. Good to bring Rose out again. Bit of extra food here, I think. Little bit of extra food, not much. Shovel off the bat. Mariner. Another misfortune. Okay, hopefully we get, don't get too many battles on the way, but I'm sure we'll get three or four. Just because, obviously, the curve, not a particularly friendly place for us. Thank God we dodged the taint there. Okay. Um, hmm. So how much damage would this do? Okay, we can kill with this. Unfortunately, you got the lowest roll. Really unfortunate there. I'm going to go with this and just kill. This guy needs to go next. Um, in fact, I'm going to stun him now so he can't act. Oh, he resisted? Wow, okay. Good damage on him. Oh, that care look is bad. Really, we need to stun that off of you because that's going to be terrible. Because you can explode and do some crazy damage. You, while, while very, very problematic, we're going to have to just ignore until we kill the big guy. So I think what we're going to have to do is go... Let's do suppressing fire here. There you go. I was I was hoping that would work, and it worked exactly the way I'd hoped it would. Peeling here should be pretty effective. Um, go for a hit here. Oh, Koshkin. These two. 
these two, I feel like they care about very little other than killing. But I feel like these two could really form quite the friendship. I feel like they're just, they're so similar in nature that I feel them two sitting down at the bar for a quiet drink amongst each other's company seems like their perfect ideal night in. It seems like exactly what they'd want out of a friendship. Very little talking, very little discussion. Oh, we got another one of these trinkets. Um, honestly, I'm going to leave it because we don't need it. But we did get Hair of the Sea Dog, which we definitely want to keep. That is a very good way to cure the, uh, the um, Pelagic Plague. Definitely want to keep that on our person. I'll get rid of summoning page because we've already got one of those. I'll get rid of the, one of those. Nice scouting. We did find our secret room. I, I'm going to go back for the secret room though so we have a bit more space. I don't think we need to go there now. But it's very nice to see. But it's just going to take up a lot of unnecessary space right now. Another one of these. More food perhaps. A little bit more food. Um... This is tricky. I'm going to get rid of the holy water here in favour of some money. I know the holy water could be useful down the line for some buffs, but I'll take my chances. Of course, we've got a madman here. Stress is looking fine right now, but that madman could really cause some problems across the board here. Luckily, we have the ability to hit pretty much any position with this crew. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let's drag him forward. That gives us the mark. And then Koshkin can finish with a, a very... Uh, not Koshkin, sorry. Uh, Hash, Hashish. I can never remember how to pronounce his name. Has Ishi. Ha, has, has Ishi? Has Ishi? Has Ishi. Can uh, in turn finish that off. Do that there for the lowered uh, accuracy and lowered crit, which is very, very nice. Fishing for uh, crits here. And the healing isn't necessary, but fishing for crits. I realise I could have probably just stunned there and got a bit more use out of that, but out of that turn. But it's fine. Gonna go for another one of those for now. Make these guys effectively useless. Nice damage. Really, with minus 34 accuracy, you're still gonna hit that. Bloody hell. Good heal there. Sedated. And a nice kill. And if this this guy tries and blocks, we've got stuns out the wazoo. Nice damage. Still, with that hit, easy hit there, wow. Let's go for a stun on you. Pulls you forward nicely as well. How much we got left on this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bandage this. Seems worthwhile. Good damage on you. Go for a party heal here, there's a crit. <clears throat> I don't know why I was fishing for crits. I don't have any stress, so not really very smart of me, but it happened. Deal with it. Let's go for a stun here. That's a good crit. Stops you from blocking anyone. Means we can kill this guy right off the bat here. Yeah, I feel like these two are probably fairly uncomfortable around these front uh, front guys, but they're going to have to deal with it. Maintain the offensive. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay, we know, we've got to keep one key for the secret room, so we'll uh, we'll keep that on us. For a task well performed. Two boxes for some heirlooms. Wealth beyond measure. I really want the portrait. Sorry, Born Citrine. We're probably going to miss out on a good bit of money here, like. but it's it's worthwhile. And there's where we wanted the holy water to remove a negative quirk. That would have been very good, especially on this guy, because he only has one, and it's a very bad one. It's the one where we can hit ourselves. Stun chances, not great on those. This guy we can probably stun pretty easily. Nice. The promise of safety. Stops you from guarding anyone. We'll bring you forward because that gives us the mark. And then. That is such, such a beautiful combination. The fact that both of these have, like, hook-based uh, combat stuff is really cool. Remove your dodge and give you the mark. Probably going to get a bleed here. Yeah. Not particularly bad. 
Go for that party heal. That kill will bring. Oh, I, I thought I thought the jellyfish didn't leave a body for some reason. No disease. No disease. No disease. Yes. Good damage. Go for the kills on these. You can't guard. You're pretty much useless if there's nothing for you to guard. So. The wounds of war can be Keeping everyone topped off. And then that mark pulling out all the stops for us there. We've got an extra shovel. We don't need it right now. Let's leave that. Unfortunately, a curio we can't use. Sadly, extra shovel would have come in handy there. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Ah. Now it must be carried home. Okay, so far so good. There's not been too much combat. Um, the rooms are pretty clear here. We can probably leave uh, camping till dead late, which is really, really nice to see. That's a pretty good trinket, to be honest. I'd really like to take that. Um, I don't know what for. Maybe for our bandages? It's not an ideal situation, but that's a really good trinket, that. Being able to keep our torchlight going very easily. Some stress definitely going to come in here. Unfortunate, but inevitable. Shouldn't be too much before the boss, though. We'll go for a stun here on you, because you haven't acted yet. And we'll go for the wombo combo between these two. We'll go for uh, Mark here, which is going to also debuff you for minus prop. And then that gets us the crit and the kill. Fantastic. Just go for the kill on you. It's a little bit tricky to pull off. Of course, you get the stress wave there. That's a lot of stress to come in. Doomsday is annoying as well. God. Yeah, unfortunately, um, Viara here taking a lot of stress. Viara, sorry? No, Titania. So. My mistake. Nice. A little bit of healing for ourselves and a kill. And an insta-kill there as well. Just go for the heal there, why not? It's a little bit of extra healing. I want to top her up to 100% so we can uh, get that extra damage bonus, if plausible. Honestly, just yeah, just do that. Just top her up to get the extra damage bonus. And of course you do that. Why wouldn't you? God damn it. At least no bleed. I'm getting you back up to full again, my good guy. There you go. Wow, lots of, lots of trinkets at the moment. Lots of trinkets. Fortunately, can't carry that right now. Look, we've got this area scouted. And let me just take a look. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to camp in this next room here. More potential food here. I like it. Glittering no gold, food. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Another shovel needed. Don't bother torching up here. In fact, I should have bothered torching up. Whoops. But we got the surprise regardless, though. This guy, we just want to get rid of straight away. As with you. That's just going to kill. That's all I want. Good damage. Okay, that was good across the board there. Probably should have gone for the stun back there, to be honest. But he didn't stress anyway, so it kind of worked out for the best. But yeah, I really, really like these two together. I think these two are going to come out more often. And I think they're going to be good drinking buddies, maybe. I know that Koshkin rarely cares about anything anyone does, but I feel like he probably has some respect for the, the, the methodology and the precision of just hack and slash for the kill. Well struck. I'm sure there's some respect there, regardless of whether it's unsaid. Or not. Just get rid of that. Stun you out. He's going to get another uh, hit off, unfortunately, I think. Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Lovely. Nice. Okay. Very, very good so far. Very, very good indeed. Take all of that. And we'll camp. Push on and now that we're camping, let's camp. first of all do, uh, I'll do the full food, that's fine. 
Um, I maybe shouldn't have actually. Food checks could be a pain now. Uh, and then let's just quickly go over our uh, diary entry here, our last one for this episode. Um, and this is one by Rockerin. And this is a picture in the guards' lives. The cold grey uh, stone stares at various men and women in the room. Some young, some old. Some speak roughly over cards, others quietly reading or writing. Even some catching some rest before another long, unforgiving night at work. All carry the same symbol, the symbol of the Hamlet's guard. All stand to, uh, start to attention as a pens pensive man speaks louder than the size that he should allow. Stand tall, captain in the house. The captain stands before them. Um, a, a scared woman in her late thirties. A, a scarred woman, sorry. A scarred woman in her late thirties. Though her eyes scream of many things wished unseen. Vivid red uh, long hair pulled back and a withering scowl on her face. The guard uh, shifts at attention as she strides forward, slamming a parchment on the card table, glaring at them. Well, a deceivingly um, even turn underlies the anger. One of the older guards speaks. The betting list for the next outsider to fall, ma'am. He stutters out. She turns smoothly to him. And why do you feel this is acceptable? Her head turns, guard after guard, as she walks the line. I've heard talk, and I'm here to address it. I don't care if they get paid more. I don't care if they get better equipment. And I'm sorry that some of the rules are bent for them. If you truly wanted to do something, then you would go into those places. Volunteers? The men and women squirm in place as they look at the captain's missing hand and prosthetic leg. A cruel reminder of those horrible, uh, of, the, of those horrid places. The best easily swatted away. She snatches the list up and begins to leave. This will not be done again. You may not like it, but you will appreciate the risks they take, as the villagers appreciate what we do. Any who do otherwise will answer to me. Understood? In unison, a tone of deep respect in each voice. Yes, ma'am. I love that. Really, really like the idea of some some of the uh, diary entries coming from like the town's guard and things like that. I really like that. So let's take a look at what we want to do here. So first of all, we definitely want to go for our prevent nighttime ambush, and then let's see. Um, so we can get a bit of prop going here, which is kind of nice. We can go with extra damage versus humans, uh, extra virtue. Unfortunately, we've not got on, an awful lot of great stuff here. So I think we go with the accuracy and crit there. Uh, we'll go with the stress relief there. Stress relief there. And I think that's it, pretty much. Um, I guess it's not really going to be that, that useful. But anyways, we'll rest there. Rest easy. This is going to be child's play for us. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. A blazing star is born. Crack this open for some extra money. And we head on. We've probably got one more room battle along the way here. Thank God for that trap dodge. A first trap we've come across and thank thankfully I've got a dodge on it. We won't take that for now. And we'll head straight into the boss fight. We're ready to go. Siren, I reckon we'll do okay here, but it, it, you never know. I'll go for a stun, even though it's unlikely. We got it though. Nice. She does have two actions, though. Uh, we'll go with that for the 8% crits received in the mark. The Song of Desire, unfortunately, coming first on Viara here, which is very annoying. But the damage output here is pretty obscene. The actual attacks that she puts forward aren't particularly bad. 28 damage. Okay, this is going exceedingly well for damage thus far. Okay, exceedingly well. Wow. The mark idea was good. Unfortunately, there is healing involved here. Luckily, it's not for a lot. We get her back pretty much straight away. Good, good. Koshkin, he could do some real damage. He could do some real damage. So let's see how this goes. Okay, thank God the mark there doesn't do anything. That's what we like to see. And we go for another mark here. High tide. We'll be summoning. This guy we need to be stunning out so he doesn't do protect. 
Oh, unfortunately, that's that's rather annoying. We can't do anything from this position. We're just stunned there. Good damage. You had this one coming. Come hither. Again, not particularly bad because that's mainly a mark skill. The the reposition is not great, but overall, this has been fine. I'll go for the stun again. I was about to say, although unlikely, if we hit it, it's very, very valuable. We should get Koshkin back now, I think. Good damage. We do indeed get Koshkin back. Unfortunately, it does put him to the back. I like the way he just says, oops. <laughs> and then Bros comes in here. Again, not a particularly big threat for us. Bandage herself. I mean, that is just perfect. This has been pretty textbook. Nice. I thought this group would be good, and they very much were. Hey, we got three hair of the dog. That's so good. Um, and four dodge, that's not particularly bad. We'll take that. Um, we'll just get rid of that. Go with that. We need to continue adventuring now. And head our way all the way back, which will probably mean we'll get another uh, combat encounter here, I'm sure. We're heading all the way back to the secret room. But yeah, getting that many um, hair of the sea dog is so nice, because if anyone gets the pelagic plague and we don't want them to have it, we have a very, very easy way to get rid. I wasn't expecting the, the boss to drop so many, but it's very nice that they did. But this group, with their mark ability, that is yet another boss that has been felled with really no effort whatsoever. These guys did a fantastic job. And also, we didn't have a single um, damaging hit on any of our heroes there. Like, no one... Everyone that got charmed used their lightest skills. Spirits are lifted. And they either healed, healed themselves, or um, used a, a mark or drag. So, I, I don't know if they were maybe able to fight off the siren song to some degree and use their uh, their lighter moves. Maybe these guys, especially these two, I expect have some really strong mental fortitude and are, are able to resist even the siren song. That is very annoying. Um, it's a lot war. more stress than I was hoping to take the there. That could even happen one more time power. here. I really shouldn't have done the full uh, the full eating there because we just took on way more stress than was necessary. And like I said, it could happen again before we even get there. And I'm, I'm sure it will, knowing my luck. Game. Why you like this? Why you like this game? This better be good. This better be worthwhile. Eh, it was reasonably worthwhile. Anyways, let's go. The fact that we're going to have to stress heal all of these means it wasn't really that worthwhile. But we do get an amazing trinket out of that. Good amount of money as well. Ha um, ha has Hashir? Has I can never pronounce this goddamn name. Hash has has a she has a she has a she. Okay, uh, gets natural, which is kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, nice bit of uh, resolve XP there. Okay, we're fine on that front. A little annoyed at the amount of stress we just took on there. That was unnecessarily high. Um, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's check our town. Put everyone in for uh, some stress healing. What I really need to do is I need to build um, one of the blueprints to get that extra uh, idle stress healing. That would be super valuable. A fresh irritant to some. Have a little look what we got going on here. So, we do have two new classes. We have the Werewolf and we have the Saw Hunter. Um, both of them pretty cool. Saw Hunter is a, a class that's built a little bit around bleed. And the Werewolf, a very interesting class as well. A little bit more bleed um, and, of course, the ability to transform. I think we'll take on the Werewolf here. Uh, we're now full, so let's, um, let's look at expanding our roster size. Good, good. Good, good. Right, trinkets-wise, anything that's looking really good? Exorcist, Fall On. I'm really hoping the Fall On comes in soon. The class that I really want to see. Same with the Jester. Really want to see the Jester soon as well. I'm getting kind of unlucky with those. 
So let's just see how we're looking for stress. First of all, let's remove all of our trinkets. Good, good, good. We do have a Saw Hunter trinket, which is pretty good there. But yeah, this thing is ludicrously good. I mean, these are both very, very good, but kind of wow. Um, Sophie's still in there. Did she stay in for an extra week? Looks like she did. Let's just check um, what happened to the other guys. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> she engaged in pleasures of the flesh and recovered 69 stress. Nice. <laughs> Um, gambled and lost trinkets. The dog earned deck of cards. Okay, we that's fine. Um, Stress-wise on those guys, everything's looking fine now. Let's just check what our embark is and see. I might I might go here next. Yeah, let's go with that, Arbalist. Um, yeah, let, let's go for that next time. I, I want to do some more stuff in the Sunward Isles. It's been a little while. So we'll go for this next, because that's actually... I've just been waiting for a trinket to come up. We can actually equip, and that is one we can equip. So let's go for that. Um, that's pretty good too, actually. Wow. That's also pretty good too. Okay. Let's just unequip these guys. And go with Salt by Stress. And let's just quickly check our blueprints. Yeah, the one I want is the Puppet Theater. Is that what it's called? Puppet Theater? Yes. This one I, I, I heavily, heavily want. And honestly, it might be worth making some trades to do that. Um, Because I think it's five idle per week. So that put up to 20 idle a week, which is kind of insane. Um, let's just take a little look. To get to there, if we were to do... All of these, we'd get 66. How many did we need? Hundred and seventy. So we'd need eighty. We'd need eighty to do trades, so that would uh That would put us up to How much did that put us up to? That put us up to like 150. Hundred and fifty. That puts us up to 170. I think we can do this. It's just is it worth it is the question. Like, how far are we off our next upgrade for these? Because we're gonna need those pretty soon. I don't know. Um I, I won't do this now. But um, I'll ask in the Discord and any of you watching, please let me know what you think of doing that. Essentially, what that would mean is from week to week, when uh, people are just idle in town, instead of recovering five stress per week, they'd recover 20. Because if, if I understand that right, let me just read it again. It's, it's not increases it, increases it by 15. So it increases it by an additional 15. So that would mean 20 stress healed per week, which I think would be really, really beneficial. Um, especially with the more heroes we add to our list, the more relevant that becomes. Also, by the way, how many heroes do we... It says we have 25. I don't think we do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh yeah, we do only have 25. Okay. Interesting. I thought we had more than that. Anyways... We are ready to uh, to keep upgrading on this. But yeah, let me know what you think. We can definitely make it if we do enough trades, but it would leave us with literally nothing in terms of heirlooms. But I think it could be very valuable because at the minute we're spending a lot on stress relief. Um, but we could also just put more money into uh, upgrading stress relief to reduce costs and increase slots, stuff like that. So let me know what you'd prefer to do. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.